Don't let the rain get you down, friends. We are in crypto. We are the ones that are going to make it. When Lambo, I'm such a D-Gen. Welcome to D Jenny from the blockchain where we defy logic and uh, we can't defy this pouring rain right now. Woo! Hope everybody's staying safe in this nor'easter. Wherever you are, it might be snow, rain, just stay safe. And uh, what's going on with the crypto markets? Man, it's been red. I thought we were supposed to get a spot Bitcoin ETF and I thought that it was going to go to the moon and, well, you know. The people who actually make those decisions are not thinking that much about us and more about, you know, the people behind them that are watching them, uh, if you know what I mean. So they're making sure that they can dump the price as much as they can, is what we think, right? And then uh, they can buy up all their, um, their Bitcoin for the spot Bitcoin ETF. But look, we have to be ready for it not to be approved anyway, because since when does Gary Ginsler do what we want him to do he hasn't right he really hasn't so why do we expect him all of a sudden to approve you know these spot bitcoin etfs just we have to think about just think about what else could happen what are the scenarios he actually could just not approve them he could deny all of them and just make up something like you have to do x y and z whether it makes sense or not doesn't matter because Gary Ginsler is in charge. And the people who are behind some of these spot Bitcoin ETFs are propping up Gary Ginsler anyway. So, you know, it's going to happen. But what if they just want lower prices, right? What if they want just a bigger narrative? What if they want to wait to uh, wait for what is that? Is there my hand a ghost or something? What is that? But what if, um, what if those guys want to wait for the having, where there's more of a, um, where like the fundamentals are more bullish or something? I, I don't even know if that makes sense. But uh, what if they want to wait until the first rate cut, something like that, where people are going to start FOMOing money into things, right? So what if, what if, just what if is what we have to ask ourselves basically. It could get denied. Look, BlackRock does have one application denied in the past. It's not a stretch to make it two. And just because it's denied doesn't mean it's not going to get approved later. So if Gary does not approve the spot Bitcoin ETF for, let's just say, BlackRock, it will give BlackRock two denials out of like hundreds of applications, which is still a tremendous percentage of approval. So BlackRock can actually have their spot Bitcoin ETF application denied, but still be like the best team in the league, if you know what I mean. Like even uh, the Chicago Bulls and the Golden State Warriors who set records with 70 wins in the regular season of the NBA in the past, they even lost some games, right? They lost like nine or 10 games. So it's possible BlackRock loses, so to speak. Again, this, this video is just to see the opposite side and that's all. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. Will it be approved? Probably yes. And all of them for that matter. But we see a lot of red in the market right now because we're remembering that nothing is straight up all the time. Nothing is, uh, nothing always goes in our favor all the time. So when, just when we think everything's about to go to the moon, it's gonna send us back down. We have to remember that. But it doesn't mean it's gonna stay there forever. And just because you're, you're, uh, super bullish on something doesn't mean that or or bearish i'm sorry just because i'm like let's say i'm bearish today because it's red and i'm thinking huh, maybe they don't approve these things that doesn't mean like i'm bearish and i'm selling all my crypto no it just means i'm watching what's happening and thinking of other narratives that could play in to account here and that's it but if you were buying at the bottom 
all this red doesn't mean anything to you because you're in the green still, right? And that's the beauty of buying the bottom and that's what I've been saying and why people tell you to buy the bottom because all these volatile days and maybe a, a, a denial of a spot Bitcoin ETF that seems crazy at this point, right? But it could happen. And what if it sends crypto down? It doesn't matter. Even if Bitcoin goes back down to thirty, thirty-two thousand dollars $32,000, are we really going to be bearish all of a sudden? No. So just again, take a step back. You know, it's a rainy weekend. Don't let this red rain on your parade or anything that might happen even this month because we know that over the course of this year and hopefully next year, a lot of people are going to come into crypto and uh, pump our bags, basically. That's what happened uh, in 2021 with me. I pumped other people's bags when I discovered crypto and I was exit liquidity. So we're in right now. Congratulations to you. Uh, watch what's going on in crypto. Think of different narratives that might happen and be ready for anything. But most importantly, remember your strategy and, uh, and that's it. So everybody stay safe on this stormy weekend. Always do your own research because this is not financial advice. It's just my blockchain reaction. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching to the very end. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, drop a comment and share the video. Follow me on X at DJNY Crypto and please enjoy the next episode or my suggestion to the left. Thank you.